Just a quick video of another project I've been working on lately. Um, I recently started doing a lot of research into healing technologies and different ways to try to speed the healing process and things like that. And I ran across some articles about uh, using LEDs and light emitting diodes for healing. So um, science seems to be showing that certain wavelengths of light, specifically right around 660 nanometers, which is the bright red, um, has different healing properties for the um, for the surface skin if there's like a surface wound or even below the skin you just simply take something like this um, basic breadboard circuit board pack a bunch of 660 nanometer um, diodes on there the light emitting diodes and uh, they're basically all hooked in parallel so you just need a lot of little wire there and it just snakes back and forth it's just one long parallel line of these and you simply take it and where you have a soreness um, if it's under the surface just kind of press and hold it for 90 seconds or a couple minutes and then move it a little bit move it around like this do a 5 10 15 minute light treatment and it really seems to help with uh, soreness and uh, healing from what I can tell um, so just quickly what I did was I made three of them here you can see this one has about 60 on it this has this is really packed tight that's got like 80 and then this one is about double that one so this one's got about 120 I will show you this on in a minute here um, these are power supplies from Fry's Electronics they're DC uh, regulated power supply you can set it at 3, 6, 9 or 12 volts um, the, these run on 3 volts so you just keep it on the 3 and uh, let me go ahead and uh, actually I think it's plugged in already let me go ahead and see uh, if I can get this thing to uh, work here. Okay, there is the lighted 120 LED pad on. I'm going to try to point it right at the camera so you can get an idea how bright that really is. These are very high powered LEDs. Each one of them is um, they're rated 3000 millicandela. Just for reference, um, the little lights say on the razor that if you had a razor that's charging or your answering machine, a little red light on that, that is about three millicandela. These are three thousand, so they're a thousand times brighter each, um, and very intense light that can penetrate the skin. So this can be used two ways. This can be used um, just as like the heating pad. You know, you can just hold it against your skin like a heating pad. Let me go ahead and get this off here. I don't want to blind you if it's doing that. All right. What you can do is um, it works in two ways. You can use it like a heating pad and just press it. It'll warm up the area, bring the blood to the surface, you know, like a heating pad does and heal. Um, but there's a lot of ongoing research that shows that it also acts um, to upregulate the cells. That particular wavelength of light and ones near it seem to have an effect on some of the cells. Um, they have a property called uh, a photoacceptor ability. A lot of the cells in your body do. And so it can actually take certain types of light and convert that to energy, causing the cell to be uh, upregulated, work faster and more efficiently. DARPA does some funding of it. Um, NASA, I know, has done some work with it. And uh, the military even is getting in on the act. I believe the military study was that... Uh, they gave soldiers in the field um, little portable units like this and they said if you get any sort of smaller superficial um, surface wound you know try using this and they would tell them you know to use it on a 90 second treatment or two minutes kind of move it around the area um, for, for a certain amount of days a certain amount of time and the study seemed to show that the people with uh, wounds would heal uh, forty percent faster if they used like the light treatment or the light therapy versus a similar wound where someone didn't use the therapy. As far as NASA goes, they're using it in two different ways. Um, the main way that I know of is that they're using um, the technology and they're putting it in uh, like a blanket form. They're literally embedding these into like blankets like this and the astronauts will wrap them around their arms and their legs to try to stave off, you know, the natural um, muscle atrophy that occurs with being in those near zero gravity or zero gravity conditions um, and so they're doing experiments with that to see if like these LED lined blankets maybe while they sleep or just during the day would help 
for a certain length of time. They're also using these LEDs, um, I don't think the red ones, but different wavelengths of those for um, growing uh, stuff in space. They put out, individually they put out such a low amount of heat and you just need a couple of them here and there. Um, you know, so in the laboratory they can use those lights as opposed to something that puts out a lot more heat like a uh, incandescent light for um, longer trips in space, maybe like a trip to Mars where they have to grow their own food possibly. They're looking into using LEDs for that. And so again, quickly, um, the, the, the things I use, they're just circuit boards from like Radio Shack um, wires. I think I got it most of it from Radio Shack and Fry's Electronics. These came from Fry's Electronics. They're the regulated DC power supplies, 3 volt. Um, the wire in these, Fry's Electronics. Now the LEDs you can buy from Radio Shack and Fry's. I don't really recommend you do that mainly because of cost. Um, something like this with the 80 or 60, um, they charge $1.49 or $1.99 per LED in many cases. So you'd be looking at like $75 to $100 for that. You know, forget that, right? Um, just go to somewhere like jamaco.com or uh, another electronics um, distributor online. I think they sell them online for 15 or 20 cents per LED if you buy them in packs of 100. So just get like 100 of them, you know, and make up a pad or two if you want to try this out. But um, again, um, it's just in parallel. You just kind of make this long um, sort of S pattern back and forth as many as you want. Uh, pack them pretty close together because to get that healing property they're finding it has to be pretty pretty uh, closely packed lights and uh, pretty intense light. Try to get the 3000 millikindel if you can or higher. I hope you got a good look at the intensity of this. But I will use it, you know, arms. Actually, for the arm, it might be better to use something like longer like this. It won't take you as long for the treatment. Something like this would be better maybe to get like right in there on the shoulder and, you know, around the joints, the elbow, the knee area. I've used it up under here, man. If your leg starts hurting and you kind of use this for a couple minutes here and there, um, really seems to help. Now, one thing to watch out for if you're thinking about buying a product like this is don't buy... Um, the ones where the LEDs are really spread out, there's only a few, or they mix blue lights in or something like that. That's pretty much a gimmick from what I can tell. You don't want it to blink, you want it to stay steady state on, and uh, you want it to be the high powered LEDs and you want it to be really packed in there. I feel free if you've got any questions, I'm just kind of working on it myself, it seems to be going pretty good. One last thing, uh, you know I do a lot of the solar videos, wanted to do something different for a change, but um, you can run these on the solar power. I've done that. It's just a few watts. I can't remember how many, but you figure it's just 3 volts DC coming out. So it's just a few watts, you know, to run these. And um, any questions, let me know.